Yesterday I had a meeting with my college counselor and he told me the number one mistake that he noticed in the essays that students write is being inauthentic. That's basically like, for example, when a student tries to use words that they wouldn't usually word, use to sound smarter. Like using a word like indefatigable just, just because they think it sounds smart. Like I have a friend who does this too. He just puts in really smart sounding words into his essay, but then the essay just sounds like a robot wrote it, like Chad GBT wrote it. And that's why I think you should just write how you would normally write. Tell stories like you would normally tell a story. Like speak, write how you would speak, okay? When, when you are trying to show the world who you are, you can't use other people's words. You can't use words that aren't yours. You can't use thoughts that aren't yours. You have to show the world who you are through your own words, not through someone else's. So for example, like I'm, I'm pretty formal on this, informal on this channel. I, I don't really use a lot of high vocabulary. I'm, I'm learning more vocabulary, but I'm not purposely trying to use high vocabulary. And that's because it's just not natural for me. Like if I started speaking like, um, according to a study by the American Psychological Association, like if I just started speaking like that, you wouldn't really resonate with me because that's not actually who I am. That's not my authentic uh, being. And this doesn't just apply to college essays. It also applies to your social life. For example, imagine you just go to a new school, you enter the grade and now you have to fit in, you have to find your friend group. Imagine if you don't express your true beliefs about the world. Like, let's say for some reason you don't like hanging around with uh, um, people of a certain belief. Let's, I'm not going to say any certain beliefs. I don't want to put my own views out here right now. But let's say you don't like this party, this political party. And you try to act like this party because that's what your whole school is full of. People of the party that you dislike. Are you going to fit in? Are you going to just pretend like you are one of them? Or are you gonna express your true beliefs and find the few people who may have similar opinions to you? If you choose to hang out with people who you conform to, who you conform your beliefs to, who you, you disagree with, but they're just the only people you can hang around with. They're the only people who uh, you actually have access to. Then you're gonna be so much more, uh, what's a word for it, suffering? You're gonna suffer so much more because you are not gonna feel as if you can, you're gonna feel suppressed in that friend group, in that group of people. Whereas if you if you express your true beliefs and maybe this whole group of people doesn't like you anymore, they don't agree with you. Now you'll find the few people who actually have similar beliefs with you, okay? And then you'll actually, your, your mental health will be so much better. It's not like you're gonna suppress your own beliefs. You're going to be able to express what you believe in freely. The people who are on the other side of the party who you dislike, they'll respect you more because you're actually voicing your opinions. So it's an all around win to just voice your authentic self, what you truly believe in. Don't suppress your beliefs just because of the crowd. Don't suppress your, your, uh, your whatever beliefs you have. Don't suppress your values because of the people around you. My name is Forrest Faisal, think big, I'm out.